Warning, this video contains spoilers for Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Hey everyone, Ravenous here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood, where last time we were, we were finally able to repel the Imperial attack on Rogger's Reach, and now we are helping out the victims, So, and people are recovering, and we found that in part of helping one out, we found some more side quests over in the peaks, so we're going to take care of those right now, get some more experience, because we need to grow stronger, if we're going to fight Xenos. So, and with, to do that, we need experience, and with side quests comes experience. So, plus, uh, Rangfraid has something that'll unlock. Probably an Aether Current, yes. That'll help us fly later. Alright. You'd like to introduce us to an old friend. Fancy yourself as our village village's savior, do you? If you truly mean what you say, I have a mind to introduce you to someone. His name is Sayer. He used to be one of the quarry's finest workers, he did. He is fighting the good fight to restore Alagada to his former glory, but I do worry about the toll he's been taking on a man of his years. Have a chat with him if you're interested in helping. Alright. He is right over there. And if this requires us to, to leave the town, we'll grab uh, that other side quest first. You never know when uh, side quests are going to be in the same area, especially since these two kind of got unlocked near the same point. So, all right. Oh, buggers treating us like a treating us to another one of his speeches. I see. Uh, I tried talking to you. Talking to you. There we go. Thank you for coming. I'm still waiting for uh, for a few more villagers to arrive. You know, Bugger's treating us to another one of his speeches, I see. How long do you plan to continue living in abject squalor, I ask you? It's high time we brought back the quarry that, that once made me proud to hail from Al Alagano. Some of you may be too young to remember, but the, but the quarry used to mean everything to this village. Bloody hells, when this old codger, uh, codger go, when is the old codger going to stop harping about the good old days? Time to open up your, your eyes, you old daft bugger. Time's long since passed when we could sell the stone here for a decent amount of gill. It's about time we face facts. There's no coin to be had sweating your life away in some bloody quarry. I'd be better, better served going out and hunting my own food. Just hear me out. If you give up on the quarry, you'll be giving up on the way, uh, giving up on the village itself. Even the hardest of rocks will break if you keep chiseling away at it. Life's the same. Grandfather, that's enough. I can, uh, I can tell you now that no one here would claim to be happy with their lot, but there's nothing that can be done. You're reminiscing with every, or uh, your, your, uh. Sorry, you're remonstrating with everyone is hardly going to do any good. Sweet love. Well, what do you bloody expect with that attitude? No one's going to work to improve things when even couriers such as yourself have next to no motivation. There's a reason you don't see much quarry going on anymore. There's no demand for it. We can get just fine, but just fine with the stones we've gathered in the past and, and those we salvaged from ruined buildings. Prosperity doesn't lie in wait for us at the quarry. Only monsters. It's about time you realize that. We're lucky just we're lucky just uh, to be alive these days. Come on, grandfather, let's go home. I'm not from here. The last girl understands nothing. Of course everything's going to seem pointless if you're only sleepwalking through life. And who the hells are you anyway? I ain't doing this for your amusement. I'm helping out. I am indeed sayer, the, the sayer you speak of. Rangfrid uh, sent you my way, did he? Ravenous, was it? Well, you're the, the lad we have to, have, have, uh, have to thank for saving Wurkrata. Or Wurkrata. Uh, I can, I can tell you, uh, you I, uh, 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 words. 
I can tell you have more fire in your belly than this entire village. Perhaps you, you'll be able to see that I'm not as crazy as these buggers think, think me. Alright. Talk to you again. All I got owes everything to the quarry. These stones were extracted. These stones were extracted, were solid, and pleasing to the eye to boot. Uh, we even supplied the stone used to build uh, used to build the palace. Ah, those were the days. It was the Imperial invasion that changed everything. Those bastards thought stone structures were barbaric, uh, favoring their cold, tasteless uh, metallic buildings. Uh, buildings instead. Ah. They say, uh, they say they look civilized. Don't make me laugh. The final blow to our way of life uh, came when Garlemald began recruiting our youth for their own army. We lost just as many of the rebel cause. With no one left to tend the quarry, it slowly fell into ruin and is now overrun with beasts. There are a few of us that remain, that remain that have been left to eke out a living using any means we can. I swear, wrong, in, swear in Ronger's very name, if we could just take back the sleeping stones, this whole village would, would brim with vitality again. I just need someone that proves the beasts are, uh, are gone from the quarry. Then the villagers would, would surely see fit to help me restore it to, to its former glory. I know this is a lot to ask a complete stranger, but it's not if I'm spoiled for choice right now. Would you be able to rid the quarry of those damn monsters and bring back two uh, Earth's soul stones? I'll forever be in your debt. Okay. Get two soul stones from the quarry. Quarry's over there. Oh, we've been over there in our exploration video. Okay, I know what to do. But before we do, let's go up and talk to this guy up here. Man, it almost sounded like I was unlocking a dungeon. Sadly, I wasn't. We'll get to that soon, though, I, I imagine. Hi. Well, you don't look like a Garlean. Assuming I'm correct, could you help me deal with it with a little pest problem? Ever since the Empire outlawed the practice of all religions, I've been una unable to to pray a hidden tear. Instead, I created a uh, I decided to create a spot in the southwest where I could where I could mourn the dead in secret. The problem is, whenever I leave offerings of food for the deceased, those blasted ro robber rats gobble them up for themselves. That's why I created this. One way for those pests to be on their way. Though, make sure uh, to be on your guard. Some of the more aggressive rats may attack you instead. Okay, so we're going to each end of the current zone. Okay. A quest, a quest, a quest, so. Uh, let's head... Yeah, let's head this way first. Is there a... Ooh. You're mean looking. Is anybody fighting you yet? No. Okay, we're just gonna move on. Don't wanna waste your guys' time waiting for a... Uh, for people to show up for a fate that we might not do. Now that people are past the roadblocks, uh, it's back to main story quests for a lot of people. Because main story unlocks new stuff. All right, not that way. I need to go around this way. Is that the dead end? All right, up the hill. Man, I can't wait to get uh, a speed increase here. But essentially, what I looked at for, uh, when I looked at all the quests for when it comes to speed increases based on main story completion, Essentially, it's when you complete a zone, that's when you get your speed increase. I may have said this in another video, but it's, it's similar to the uh, the Aether Currents, how they are locked behind the side quest. Usually, or not only you know do you find the spots, but generally by doing all the side quests in the area is how you unlock those ones, which is another sign of completing a zone. Well, unless they have you return at a way higher level, but by then you may or may not already have the ability to fly, uh, and then, then you're limited by uh, enemy difficulty and need to be here or not. Alright, so we have 
There we go. I don't need to go all the way around because you are right here. All right, while we're at it, Featherfoot save me. All right, circle around. Haha. <laughs> A little extra damage from behind. Dark Blizzard 3, huh? That's fine. Now I just need two stones. That should be two kills. Thank you. I'll try to get my stance ready so I can just keep all my stacks. This would be a perfect time for a swift uppercut. You know what? Tornado kick. Done. Later. All right, now let's go up deal with some rats. I wonder. I could probably use this as a shortcut. Maybe. If it'll let me. I'm gonna try. Because there shouldn't be any invisible wall here, because I can get to both areas pretty fine. But it's gonna let me fall that distance. It won't kill me so long as I'm not in combat. Let's do it! Whee! Ow. Okay, let's heal up before uh, that guy attacks me. Is that a... Oh, that's a... Uh, that is a hunt mob right there. Blue Griffin. Oh, he's that guy that we fought. We saw at that other uh, quarry. Who, if I get near, he will kill me. Because he is also level 70. There we go. Shortcut. I guess while we're here, might as well turn in that other quest. My shortcut just happens to go by him, so. Guess what happens when quests are on other sides of the map from each other? So, here are your stones, dude. Nice to see you return. It'd be even nicer if you happen to be in possession of certain stones. Here are certain stones. Here you go. Yes, this is exactly what I was after. Let's waste no time in showing them to the others. It's been far too long since the last race of hope showed in this village villagers and to the villagers' miserable lives. Alright. Anything else open up or just his right now? Just his. Alright. Right, time to present these soul these soul stones to the to the village. Let them know that the sleeping stones are ready to be restored. Although it's been quite some time since anyone here truly let me their ear, would you mind gathering the villagers for me? All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Go up here, talk to everybody. I'll get to your stuff in a minute. Yeah, sweet love. What do you say? Did did my grandfather put you up to this? Yep. Uh, he said he sends me mad sometimes. My apologies that he bothered uh, you with this kind of venture. Would you mind if I asked you your name? Ravenous. Well, Ravenous, you have my thanks for for humoring the wild ramblings of an old man. I'll make sure to tell him again that he needs to stop bothering strangers with his fantasies. But will you show up? I don't know. Okay, Hodgkin. The quarry? Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm far from interested. There's no point in placing the village's future in the hands of the, a dead industry. Honestly, how many people do you know that, that are desperate to get their hands on stone these days? Sayer would 
uh, Sayer's time would be better spent working out how to sell off leftover rocks we already have uh, have close, uh, cluttering Alagana. Hey, sorry, my breathing was improper on that reading. But you know, practice. The question... Something I've been wondering, because I've been working on, uh... Maybe. I see some of these are not locked behind quests, but by level. I noticed that uh, Samurai was the same way, where it's not locked by their, their moves aren't locked behind quests, but by uh, level. Hey, Carl. Was that an old fart? Fart say he wants to restore the quarry. Like I haven't heard that before. You might have been able to single-handedly take on a group of, of Uros, but most of us ain't here ain't here as a legend. Well, what do you suggest we do uh, do should the beast return? Or are you planning on giving up adventuring and becoming the quarry's very own protector? He's got a point. Featherfoot, you're in the camera's way. Featherfoot thinks he's a celebrity. Alright, well, I tried. Get a, they got a point, though. There's no demand for it. <laughs> Back from spending the good work, are you? Can't wait to see the looks on their mugs when they have a gander at these soul stones. Grandfather, let's stop this, shall we? No one's going to come. You better, you're better served heading home and having a nap. You say I'm the one spouting nonsense. I know what this is. You've banded together with, with all the others to think me mad, haven't you? How could you even think of such things? I only have your best interests in, at heart, Grandfather. The fact of the matter is that you can't that you can quarry as much as you want. If there's no one willing to buy the spoils, then it's meaningless. You're not as young as you once were, and this fool's errand your uh, your uh, is and this fool errand is doing your health no favors. I can't bear you to bear to watch your, you waste your life away any longer. Fool's errand. You consider it foolish to work towards a brighter future for Alagana? Ravenous, tell me, do you share my granddaughter's opinion? If no, no need, so no need to hold back. Yeah, she's right. I mean, if there's no one willing to buy, then it is pointless. Because you're doing this to make money. I think she might be right. I expected more, uh, more from the man who saved Workata. I suppose it was foolish to of me to think an outsider would understand the quar what quarrying means to Alagata. Listen, we all understand you're, you're just trying to do what you think is best for the village. We do. But you're going to have to accept that uh, have to accept sooner or later that, that nothing lasts forever. Huh. I was a fool for even cons considering asking others for help. You can hardly expect your, uh, your words to mean anything to those who live without hope. Yes, it's up to me to show, how, show you all how it's done. I mean, it's common business sense. Why does he have to be so thick-headed? Feels like every uh, interaction we have nowadays inevitably ends at, at a, in a huge kerfuffle. He has this nasty tendency of refusing to speak for me for hours after a fight as well. I'm truly sorry to involve you in this, but I do think... But do you think you could talk to him in my stead? Yeah, the, the quarry won't do them any good if all they're doing is gathering stone to sell if nobody's going to buy. Because then all you have, have is a stockpile of stone that no one's going to buy. So, really, before they start up the quarry again, they need to find, they need to, to find someone who's willing to buy or give up on the quarry and find another industry. I know it may seem harsh. I know there's a lot of memories in, you know, the past of the quarry and all that. But, you know, what if it's not going to work, it's not going to work. The girl makes me wonder if I too, if I too, uh, 
Uh, sorry, that girl makes me wonder if I ate too spouted so much gibberish at her age. Come to have a story, have you? Oh, I'll tell you a story, my friend. A tale of a time when a quarry was the heart of Alagana. Yes, those were the days. It didn't matter how long you spent, quarry, uh, spent quarrying away, there was always more stone to be cut and people willing to pay for it. The industry supported many a family, let me tell you. But now we don't have people willing to pay. There were even some days when I'd take, uh, take the cold hard floor of the quarry as my bed, instead of going home. Why, the only thing kept keeping me going uh, half the time were the work songs we used to sing. By Ralgar, that's bloody it. If the villagers hear the work songs once more, I'm sure they'll change their minds about the quarry. Haha, <laughs> bet you're glad that you were here to see the very moment I saved our village from ruin. It's not gonna work, old man. Haha, <laughs> fin uh, finish, finish coming to terms with just how inspiring my new plan is. Anyone that's held a hammer and chisel know the wonders a good work song can do. After you've been singing for a while, you're your swings start to match the song's rhythm and everything falls naturally into place. You can work for hours and hours without even realizing it. Hammer one hand, chisel the other, cutting up rocks uh, rocks to bring home to mother. Rocks become gill, gill, beca gill becomes a house. Our, the hearts, our, our hearts the quarry has, no need for a spouse. And the song ma Mander is along a similar vein after that. The ending, however, is is Quite, is quite something. Speckled stone, uh, edge of its lair. Uh, sell not this stone to a kindly pair. Nay, search for the pebbles, young maiden's revels. That's how it finishes. Speckled stone, edge of its lairs, refers to uh, changing patterns that adorn rock found deep underground. The rocks closest to the edge of each layer are the most brittle you see. The, the part of the song uh, exists as a warning to never sell, uh, sell on to sell inferior stone. Although you'd struggle to find a courier that doesn't know know as much. No, it's a no, it's the nay search for to pebbles, young maidens revels part, which I find curious. I believe it be referring to the jewels of some kind. After all, you'd hardly give a young lass any old pebble just, you just happen to find. No, only the finest jewels would do. If I were able to somehow take a gander at the stone mentioned in the song, uh, possibly, uh, uh, possibly impossible, my Jew. The closest fissure, uh, the closest fissure where I could stand up a chance of finding is right next to Imperial Stronghold. That being said, I might be able to find something if you, uh, if you keep me safe from from harm. A company revenants. I'll take you. Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy the journey. Ugh. All right, so. That does put a different twist on it. Hey, and we're we'll in the direction of that other side quest. Good. Uh, so yeah, stone won't sell, but I was considering this, but they were all talking stone. If you happen to find jewels, gems, then those would sell for more people would buy those because jewelry is a thing. Especially in a world where jewelry not only is for decorative purposes but can magically enhance soldiers like myself. So what you need is not so much a stone quarry but you need a jewel mine. So, perhaps that's the direction things are going in? Maybe? Why did you spawn just now? I don't know. Goodbye. Biz yet. Just because being in a quarry is a job, it is work that can be done, doesn't mean it's a good idea because you need a job that brings in the money. Believe me, this is something I've been thinking of a lot recently. 
but if a quarry, if working at a quarry can make it into a gem mine, then that is something. But one would have to prove that you can do it. Seems I was right to bring you along. The place is swarming with those rats. Try searching the surroundings for any that might be lying in wait for us. I trust you know what to do when you come across one. Alright. So over here. And get ready to punch a rat. Now this is more my style of uh, side questing. Yeah, you know what? I forgot your back. It wasn't full power, but close enough. And turn in a kick. There we go. Alright, so now I need to. Let's see. Use Beckon and the, uh, alright, so, Beckon, come on over, fine work, Ravenous, suppose it's time for me to do my part, good, find us some jokes, find gems and we're good, feast your eye on this one, Ravenous, pop right out when I chisel away along one of the, uh, one of their layers of rock. <clears throat> My guess is it can be used to craft quite fine, uh, quite fetching, uh, quite a fetching jewel. Let's hurry back to the village and set about examining it in further detail. See what I tell you. Now that has a financial future. So I need to uh, skim along here. Is this going to take care of that little, little rat problem over here? All right. Yeah, while we do that. Right over here. See, what's nice is we know where that, uh... Last time I wasn't able to come quite over here because of that, uh, that big blue griffin. So... Oh, these rats. I thought you were talking about the uh, kicker in. Robber rats. So just keep, uh. You're a hearty rat, aren't you? There we go. Let's charge up another one of those before uh, we do it again. Okay, we just left. That's good. Okay, got rid of all those. All right, so now we're returned to Alagana. I could teleport once I'm no longer in combat. Go here. Yeah, it's, it's super cheap. I still have those tickets for when things get expensive because I'm waiting until we get to the Far East before I really consider using those. Because what I was told is kind of the flow is going to have us jumping back and forth between here and the Far East. That's when my tickets are really going to come into play. All right, so Gerber got rid of your rats. The rats are all gone. Excellent news. Now I can speak with my son again. I lost my boy to a quarrying accident some time ago. He pushed me out of the way when a bunch of rocks suddenly fell down on us. 
He was buried so deep we never even found his body. I couldn't stand the idea of him being forgotten, so I went ahead and built a grave for him. It's near the area where the incident happened. Not a day goes by when I, when I don't wish he had saved himself. He still had his whole life ahead of him. Thank you, thank you all, uh, thank you for all your help. Help. Yeah. It brings me some solace to know I can still talk with my son from time to time. Oh, good. Did a good deed. Excellent. So, let's go. Because we're still on the, the Sayer storyline here. I wonder what, what might be at the end of the storyline. Because I don't think we're going to have any more Aether Currents because after Heaven's War, they kind of put those in the front of the, the uh, side quest story arcs. Ravenous, my apologies for any bother my grandfather caused you, but I do thank you for, for sincerely uh, keeping him safe. Hi, Ravenous. Sad to say, it seems we are on a fool's errand. It was no ore we found, but a crystal fragment of incredibly low purity. Only the most naive of Bjarns would rejoice upon finding this shiny piece of rubbish. Speckled stone, uh, edge of Tlaer. Sell not this stone to a kindly payer. Must have been referred to this. Grandfather, is, is that perchance a line from the song that begins with hammer, wood, uh, ha hammer in one hand, chisel in the other? Uh, indeed it is, but why would you know that? Father used to sing it, sing it to me in lieu, lieu of a lullaby. It's one of my most precious memories from the short time we were able to spend, spend together. Indeed, your father was a fine courier. Not a day passes I don't rue his death at the hands of the bastards from Garlemald. Uh, we never even had the chance to work together. He chose hit to apprentice under another teacher. And said he didn't want to want me going easy on him. But enough about the past. We had best best be using this song to guide us to find stones of value. But the spinner is still yet to smile on us. Have you forgotten, Grandfather? There's another version of this song. One might one which might uh, lead you in the right direction. Another? Well, yes, there was another version, wasn't there? It has been so long since I last sung it, I had completely forgotten. I don't suppose you you remember the lyrics? Of course I do. All of my memories of Father are as vivid as ever. That's my girl. You hear that, Ravenous? There is yet hope. Alright, but we will continue this in the next episode. And I think we're getting close to the end of this side story. And then we'll get back to the Reach and continue on. So, if you enjoyed this, give it a like. Any thoughts, comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, click on my beautiful face. If you'd like to support these videos, check out my Patreon. And thank you for watching. Until next time. Later.